the guy that's still next to him. Mm -hmm. But he loses his flanking bonus, so... Nope. Uh, nope. Moving on. I guess we'll just try to take down the guy who was dancing on the rock. <laughs> Okay. I, I'm just wondering about what Rising Phoenix looks like right now, because she's been shot so many times. Oh. Well, I did do a heal on her. Oh. Okay. Yeah, um, that's a broken right. bow string. Well, no, no, he has to roll. Uh, he he yeah. basically goes quang and freaking drops the arrow and has to load a new fresh <laughs> one. <laughs> He basically he misfires the bow. <laughs> it doesn't matter who I was aiming at. <laughs> doesn't matter too much at least. Moving on. Okay. Sage. Give me space, she says, and then swings at the, the goblin in front of her. God, Sagehart, I need my space. <laughs> hey, I'm not making moves on her. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh, wow. Is that Smack another threat off. or just a hit? No, it's just flat D20. Okay, uh, 20 that's, that's what I thought. But... Too bad, but that should still do some British him. damage. <laughs> now there's a, go a dead goblin just like spooled over the boulder. <laughs> Rock cheers. <laughs> The rock just slowly rolls in place and the goblin ends up underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, he's out! TKO. Uh, sir, he's dead. <laughs> Hold the brutality! He's dead, Jim. He's gone and died. He's the fact that we've been making Rocky... The fact that we've been making the Rock jokes this whole time. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, great. So that was Rising Phoenix. Oh, sweet. It was Dead Guy's turn. <laughs> <laughs> dead Guy's turn. All right. We're so, running into that yeah. more and more often. Dead guy's turn. Oh, wait. Jim's going to step up and attack the caster, realizing that them getting healing is a really bad thing. Mm -hmm. So Oops. she's going to start trying to dance him into submission? What? You said she steps up. Oh. Oh. oh god, I'm I'm sorry for that one, guys. Oh. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, that that physically hurt. <laughs> oh, uh, so oh I forgot. Right yeah, she'll step dance step at there. him until he pukes. That's it. Uh. Alright, the only bad thing about having her do that, you know what? She's actually gonna move slightly differently, so she's not in the way of the boulder. Five foot and then up to here. Just going through Bruiser Square, yeah. Yeah, just go through Bruiser Square. And then she's going to attack the uh, caster. Nat 20, Nat 20, Nat 20. Be nice. Take a 19, too. I'll take it. That'll do. That's a hit. That's a hit. All right. And that was just. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Four, if I remember correctly. What you do? Roll All right. Damage. Ten. Ten. He is very bloodied again. All right. Yay. 
if I can hit him with either the rock or the cloud, he should be dead. Okay, and that won't threaten any of our people if he doesn't move. All right, cool. This guy is still trying to hit Tom. <laughs> okay, so I believe his thing was, yeah, D8. I mean, plus 8. <laughs> Nope. Still wins. But that's within five, but, so roll your roll well, your silly. Doesn't that just it doesn't that just destroy a figment? I don't think it's a roll. Yeah. Missing by five or less just destroys a figment. Yeah. So we're down Three. to how many figments? One. One. Okay, here. One figment left. Again. Just a figment <laughs> of your imagination. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Okay. Uh, what? It looks <laughs> a superficial resemblance. <laughs> <clears throat> and anyways, let's kill these guys. We can do it. We can do it. Oh god. You uh, can do it. Do okay. <laughs> Maybe Both another potion to... Up this way, <coughs> so the king doesn't get an attack on me. Up here. And I'm going to try... Actually, I'm going to... Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, um, I'm going to try bombing this guy. Actually, if you try bombing right on that square, Tom can just dodge around it. Uncanny dodge. Yeah, why would you move into melee range when you're throwing a ranged weapon? Yeah, you've, got, you've got 20 foot range. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> 30, actually. Oh, yeah, 30 because of your long throw. Yep. And you got your point blank shot, I think. Oh, God. Bomber's eye. Bomber's eye, that's it. Well, obviously, my eye is not on the bomb. Well, if you, you aim for a square, so that still lands right. in place. Yeah, square's AC5. Yeah. You literally can't miss a square unless you roll a 1. So, reflex save for these guys. Those three in the line. Tom, um, roll a 1! <laughs> well, that guy got hit with the full splash damage. And... Man, that priest had such a good idea healing his team members and then just f failed his dodge roll and then got hit <laughs> and, you know, everything else that happened. <laughs> okay, and the king, so that doesn't... Yeah, DC 16, did you say? 15, I think, on her. Okay. 15. Well, the king dodges and takes three damage. Uh, Ben, you need to roll... Or... Oh, I'm, right, right. I'm looking up Uncanny Dodge at the moment, and it's not helping. Uh, Uncanny Dodge, I think. Is that the one that makes you take nothing on? I think, yeah, it makes you take <sighs> um, nothing instead of half on successful I think right. Evasion is the one that take, makes you take nothing. Uncanny Dodge yeah. is something different, I think. Oh, yeah, Uncanny, Uncanny the Dodge, dodge is the can't one that... be kept may have, uh, caught flat-footed, I believe. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that you can't be caught flat-footed, so Uncanny okay. Dodge actually does nothing for it. What, what do I do for my dodge roll again? Yeah, reflex. reflex save. Reflex. Plus eight. Okay. Okay, good. So you don't have to roll too high, and it's only three damage if you succeed? Yeah. Nice. Zoop! Two of me dodges. I think he's used to Sageheart throwing bombs from behind him. Oh, right. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, because you have um, illusions left, don't you? Oh, but yeah, yeah Aoi's no, no, still it here. It will not affect the illusion. Yay. Yeah. So, a little bit splashes on your leg. You get singed a little. Or you get a little singed. A little bit of fire. A little singed bra. All right, so... That's it, I should have made her, made her singe heart. <laughs> All right, she's dead. Mr. Healy is dead. Yep. Yay. 
All right, the rock's going to take uh, a direct actually... route to Pain Town. <laughs> yep. Wait. Oh, you don't have to set on. Uh, you don't have to set on Pathfinder distance. Oh, fucker! Set as the default. Well, you can't. I just wish I could set it to a default setting for maps <laughs> I make. Okay, it's on Pathfinder now. Uh, All right. Okay, so yeah, he'll go right there and hit those two, and that doesn't clip either of the ally squares. Nope, it's a direct one, thankfully. Yep. So, okay, we reflex save for the Goblin King. Time for the rock bottom. Oh. Oh, the second you made that joke, the dice decided to say, fuck you, he's dodging this. <laughs> yep, it's the king, I kind of expect it. Yeah, and now... Well, the... he has the worst reflex save, it should hit him. It's good to be the king. Yeah, they both dodge, so that goes away. <laughs> my, right. work, my work here is done. I must go now. Do, do, do. I must go now. Uh, my people need Cloud me. will move one to the right onto the king. And he must make a reflex save. Come on. Yep. Oh. Nope. Oh. He has made every single reflex save at <laughs> plus five. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> God damn. All right, I'll make another five step up. This is ridiculous. This is Sparta. No, it isn't. No. Not yet? It will be. No. <laughs> Just no. Alright, King's turn. He'll five to step out of that cloud. And four round attack Tom. And still get No. Him. Okay, he's This is where the low rolls happen. <laughs> Alright, so Also he no. Did... He gets he rid of the last pigment, but he just doesn't hit him. Congratulations, you've managed to Congratulations, you've managed to figure out where I am. Unfortunately, it's cost you most of your guard. Eh, I'll get more. <laughs> no, you won't. Mm, yeah, well. <laughs> your priest lies dead. Eh, I can get another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's just I love how nonchalant the <laughs> king is about everything. God, give me another one. Okay, Aaron Amstern. Alright, um, I'm going to move right here and attack this one. <laughs> Good idea! Get out. Get into point blank range so that you're not nearly as dead if the goblin tries it. Well, he's probably not aiming for me anyway. Well, he might, depending on how much damage you do. <laughs> well, I can only do uh, up to three, so. <laughs> uh, well, unless you empower it. Hey! Target mouthy one! Dink, you damaged him. <laughs> Yay. Guys, this is funny. A story about The Rock actually just showed up on my Facebook news feed. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we oh, had an sitting. earthquake here at 3 a.m. Really? Yeah, I slept through it, apparently. Wow, you must have some Californian blood in you. Well, no, it's, it was it was like not. I take offense to that. <laughs> it was apparently Why? like very minor and like at most kind of just knocked some pictures off the wall, like that kind of mild one. But we haven't had an earthquake here in England for like ages. <laughs> it's not normal. Literally here. ages. So Tuffy's turn. Perhaps, perhaps even epochs. Do, 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 do. Tuffy to the possible rescue. Maybe Where's sort the... of. Where's the king now? He's here. Ah, there he is. Okay. Tuffy's gonna step up 
Just a little. Since there's nobody immediately threatening her. There's and... Left to threaten her. She's gonna take another shot at the king and maybe, like, hit something for once this entire fight. <laughs> Yes. yes. At six. <laughs> you hit. <laughs> All right. So that is only 1d6 plus 4 damage, but better than yeah. nothing, I suppose. Exactly. Positivity, my friend. Positivity. It's more damage than he had before. Eight damage. Eight damage. And Bruiser is just going to charge right up to this guy. Chop his dick off. Bite and swing. Bite and swing. <laughs> and Tuffy just yells, Chopper, sick nuts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, let me get my magnifying glass here. <laughs> sick nuts. <laughs> he does. Does that hit? That hits the archer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, found him. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think that's the right. Yeah, okay, that's the right. Goblin now has dog on his crotch. Oh. Oh, Max, damn it. <laughs> oh. oh. Goblin, Our dog they're dog gone now. Someone's it's... yelping, and it's not the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like rice. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Bruiser's just standing there with a mouthful of goblin sack, like, I did good. I'm a good boy. Oh. Uh, shake your head for, back and forth. <laughs> and that's kind of the like line of sight. Oh, God. <sighs> He's gonna step back and try and point blank shot the dog in the face. <laughs> I can't Why not give them back? Oh, wow. you don't Amazingly mess with the hits. goblin and his nuts. <laughs> Does he sever the nuts in the process? He uh, hasn't stopped to check. <laughs> I probably won't care. 14 damage. I think that goblin is now neutered. <laughs> 14 damage. Oh. Help control the goblin population. Have your goblin Our spade dog. neutered. Yes, yeah, so a bruiser took 14 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Is he bloody? He would he's, be bloody he's, now. He's yeah. Pretty, pretty bad, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna make note of it on the top. It's like we need a paladin to lay on hands on our pup. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Pet the doggy. <laughs> okay. I uh, still have two targets, yay. It's... You are in a target rich environment. How about it? Don't hit shit. Moving on. Okay. Uh, mm. tr trying to focus in her rage. Uh, Rosie Phoenix lets out a massive roar and she grows to a large ah. size. The fuck? Blood magic, yo. <laughs> yeah, she has a, Obviously, she has hidden talents. She has blood rager spells now. And one of them is an enlarged person. <laughs> really, I, I would think her talents aren't hidden that much. <laughs> Not anymore, no. Hey, her clothing <laughs> grew with her. The question is, do her clothes grow with her? Yes, yes, yes her clothing grew with her. <laughs> so her talents are still hidden. <laughs> well, it's... Only leather armor, so yeah. 
Okay, so plus two to strength. So that's a, and she gets a minus two to dexterity, minus one on attack and AC rolls. Minus one. Hmm. It's like her AC is like really low right now, but she is strong as fuck. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she grows. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that was well timed. And yeah, that's a standard action. And then she has now she now has reach, so she's not gonna move anywhere. But yeah. In large person everything grows with you. Otherwise you can end up with no weapon that's doing a, a scale of damage. Which means the weapon grows as well, which means it's damage. Which means it has a large category freaking damage right now. Which from a D12 would go to a 3D6, I believe. Uh, it's Genevieve's turn, by the way. Alright, so Jen is going to lay on hands the dog. Which is a swift action. Nope. No? Thought it was. No. It's only a swift action if you're healing yourself. Oh, der. Tells you how long it's been since I played a paladin. So, 9 HP back to the dog. And seeing that Phoenix is growing and gonna have enough people over there, she's going to uh, step up to the archer again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so waggy tails all around. Bruce gets her health back. Hey. How much health? Nine. Nine. I will hit this fucking ninja. I've killed his friends, now I kill him. <laughs> or he won't. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what? I'm, Waste I'm and killed? To, I don't I'm think so. I'm gonna have to leave game a little early today. Okay. So, but I still got another 45 minutes to an hour, so. Oh, that should be plenty for the battle at least. And. Yeah. Oh. How long have we? Oh wait, I can check the recording. Yeah, we've gone like two hours and 20 minutes already. So. Okay. I have a a friend coming in from out of town, and he was able to make it tonight. So I've gotta like spend time with him. So. Uh, friends. Mm. Oh, hey, Simpson. How are you? And, uh, yeah. And my video isn't choppy, Kel, because you've actually probably got a much faster connection than you used to. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I could probably, like, scale it back up to 720, and you would still be fine. Yeah, dog is healed. Healed ish, not healed all the way up, sadly. No. He, he's, uh, he's not bloody anymore. That's how Good, that was the intention. Alright, so that guy failed, so now it's Sage Heart. Sage Heart! I think I'm going to try tossing a bomb back here for the standard splash damage. Bombs you have left now. I don't know, I thought I got to make those up as I went along. Yeah, but I No, you guys set them for today. Oh. I didn't mean to drink it. How about explaining that to her after the combat ends so that we don't have to deal with an unarmed stage heart? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, well, I've still got a kukri, so I wouldn't be unarmed, but... Yeah, plus, um, it's... I feel what it is. It's, like, three plus int per day. What's your int modifier? Um... Intelligence it's four modifier... Plus int? Is four. Okay, miss, Pathfinder. Uh, okay, well, I think you've got high enough in to have enough. This is probably be the last bomb, though. How many have you thrown today? Like four, five? Uh, how many rounds of combat have we had? Minus one. That's a good way of calculating it. If only there was a round counter. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. 
We've had we're on the fifth round right now. Fifth round, okay. So I've used four. Or okay. will use four this round. Okay, so you get class level plus intelligence modifier, so eight. Because you're currently level four, aren't you guys? Mm-hmm. So, so you yeah, have eight. you have four left? <laughs> well, four, three after this one. Because I didn't use one of the rounds of combat, use that to heal um, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I have three left after I shoot this one, so shooting. Pretty Yay. sure I hit the square. You hit the square. Now they need to roll reflex. 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 He finally fails nope. his fucking roll. <laughs> yeah, take that slash damage. Take it. Take it like a bitch. Take it like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's an echo in here. <laughs> and he makes it. A sharpshooter takes half. The, ar the archer oh. makes it, but the king doesn't. Wait. Yay. What'd you oh, roll wait, for it? that was damage. Splash. Sorry. No, yeah, it's splash, so you don't yeah. get it. Seven points, sorry. Seven and three. Uh, yeah, because he got 17, so three. And first. All right, the cloud, with its last, uh, its dying breath, goes on to the king and makes him do one last reflex save. <laughs> fail, 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 fail. Oh, fuck you. Damn it, Ben. Uh... All right, well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to make him fail one of these reflex saves. So I'm going to cast a spell, Heat Lightning, targeting him. Make another reflex save. This one's only uh, DC 15 now. Ah, <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding Wait a minute, me? he matched it. I know, which means he beat it, which means mm. uh, for this spell, he takes... Check. At least he takes damage. It takes half of 1d6 plus 4, and it's non-lethal. Oh, it's non-lethal? Non-lethal. Okay. Great, that goes still knock him out. Yeah. So, he takes three non-lethal damage. Okay. If he would have failed that, it sets him on fire. Oh, that would have been great. I know. God damn it. Eh! I can put he myself out. I don't every have to. single it. reflex save. I know. Me. It's that like just pisses me off. He's, it's like he's got like the blessing of a god or something. <laughs> I put oh. step up. It's my turn. Oh. What? At, at least he is failing these raw. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, he actually hits yeah, Tom. I have to say something. Oh my goodness, he actually hit Tom for once. Yeah, and you're not gonna like this. Max damage. Ow! Oh. Tom drops. Oh, that brings you to exactly zero shit. Uh, so that doesn't actually drop you, I believe, at exactly zero. You can still, like, five foot step back. But I think if you if you try to actually attack, you have to make a roll, otherwise you do drop. Not sure. I, oh god, this is one of those things where I always get confused between non-lethal and lethal damage for how that works. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do a full round withdrawal but, um, in that state because it's a full round action. But you still definitely can five foot step and. Sage Heart can definitely give you an infusion. <laughs> Trust no. me, I would. Anyway, just keep going. Yeah. Oh. 
said good yet words, did you? Okay, I'm going to move right here, or right here, actually, uh, and attack the king with my staff. All right. Are you using charge shot or just the? Um. Yeah, I'm using charge shot. Okay. Or, ah, uh, not d20. Wow. <laughs> yes, d20 <laughs> damage. Fuck him. Fuck him hard. Wow. There we go. Seven. Nice. And then. Your staff remains potent. <laughs> okay, uh, Duffy. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Aiming for the king. Shooting cane? under Sage yep. Heart. Nice. Not Sage Heart, uh, Phoenix. It's only nice if I hit. There you go, you hit. <laughs> That's the condition you gain with lethal. Another eight. Nice. He is bloodied. Just. Um, and... Bruiser's gonna keep attacking that guy. Uh, that would provoke... Mo uh, no. he's, he's still got his range weapon out, so it wouldn't provoke, yeah. It's fine. Attack. Okay. 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 So. The fruit is hanging low after your last attack. Go for the gold. You hit. <laughs> ah. He is bloodied due to the fact that Bruiser now has a mouthful of balls and isn't actually still in hit the goblin's crotch. <laughs> okay. He, he, he's, he, he's like steps back with blood just dr like gushing from his freaking between his legs. He tries to <laughs> shoot the fucking God damn fucking dog! <laughs> uh, right after Jen healed it. Just 22 hit bruiser. Unfortunately. Uh, uh, you break, breaking up for me, Kiki. She said it was an exact match. That's exact match it hits, okay. Fifteen damage. Ooh. I think it's time that Bruiser retired from combat today. For today. Dumb. So Tom five foot steps in the cover and slumps against the pillar. Well. Yeah. That yeah, that works. Pretty. Basically, keeping himself upright by leaning on the pillar. Yeah. Yeah. You you have the disabled condition for having exactly zero hit points. Okay. So what does that mean? Uh, condition disabled. Um, you can make a single move or standard action each round, but not both. You can still take swift, immediate, and free actions. You move at half speed. Um, if you take a standard action, you deal one hit point of damage to yourself, but move actions you can do normally. Okay. And that's it. Raising Phoenix is going to cleave. <laughs> Starting from the easier to hit guys to so the sharpshooter. Yeah. Save us, Rising Phoenix.
still a plus 10 because she gained plus 1 from the strength but then takes minus 1 from the... It'd be over if that damn king hadn't gotten so lucky on his reflex saves. <laughs> that matches the freaking archer. That does not hit the king though. Okay, Archer is about to feel some fucking wrath. Because I looked it up. <laughs> uh, D12 in a large category is 3D6 <laughs> plus, uh, let's see, 7 half, so 10. <laughs> uh, 3D6 plus 10, yeah, that's the one. And she takes minus two to AC for until next turn. Perfectly, yes. Yeah. And then, uh... Does she still have the fire? Oh, yeah, and the D6. Don't think it's going to be needed, but still the D6. So, 26 total. There was a goblin here. It's gone now. <laughs> Did anybody else ever get the feeling that Odin's basically playing this game with himself? What? <laughs> uh, hey, we, we've made the majority. Everybody of else damage. is like, I do four damage. I do. He's like, and Rising Phoenix just killed that thing. <laughs> well, she's uh, she's a barbarian. It's what she does. Well, she's a blood rager technically. She's will. She's currently a fucking giant with a giant axe that's on fire. <laughs> and that huh. the other archer are gonna go down to the paladin anyways. So it's not like all the kills go to Phoenix, who hasn't done anything. Wait, to this isn't the only the one right. left. The king? No. No. That's one archer true. left. Oh, okay. God, do I heal Bruiser or just you heal Bruiser move into attack? I guess. I Wait, mean... no. Put yourself between Bruiser and the enemy and attack. Finish him. Assuming Bruiser isn't going to move back in. <laughs> so she's attack. I think Bruiser has sense. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's hope. Well, What's Bruiser may or may not have then? sense, but Tuffy has sense. Yeah. What's the okay. thing by the throne then? That's the king. There's the sharpshooters up at top left. All right, so Jen is going to move in and just try to physically block. Um, the uh, yeah. attack toward the attacks Bruiser, yeah. and is going to roll a regular attack. Raising Phoenix is pretty much a glass cannon right now. She has a lot of strength, but she only has sixteen AC. <sighs> All right. Misses, unfortunately. I would have been surprised if it hadn't. <laughs> that guy doesn't get a turn. Say chart. Um, I'm checking how many times I can do heal light wounds a day. I have no clue, so I'm figuring I can do it at least one more time. How many infusions do, do you have per day? I have no clue. Oh, it should say on your, uh, your outburst, uh, Table, how many infusions you get by day and what level they can be. Let me just check for you. Alchemist extracts four three one. Four three one. So you get four, uh, four level one extracts. Wait, is it four three one? Oh yeah, fourth level three one. So yeah. You get three first level spell extracts and one second level spell extract. So you can have um, two more infusions to heal people with today. Now, would the standard action of drinking the potion come before or after the effect. Wait, since when is a potion a standard action? I thought a potion was a free action. Move action. Move action. Pretty okay. sure to drink a potion. Which means it wouldn't, but uh, if you are if you do something that heals yourself, you uh, don't take the one point. Okay. 
if, yeah, if the action increases the disabled character's hit points, um, then it just negates that. Uh, yeah, okay. After the I'm just gonna sit here and look blank. D8 plus four. Six hit points for Tom. Sorry, Tom. Best hey, it's keeping him moment. alive. Best I got at the moment. Sorry, it's not more. Tom quietly nods and... And your microphone cut out. Hello? Did the call do I'm it? here. Okay. Ben caught out. Ben cut out. Okay, it was so quiet I thought the drop the call dropped again. The drop called again. You know, that's definitely a way to put it. Now I have a tendency to mute my microphone unless I'm talking. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So that makes it um Emphasis turn. Emphasis. Oh, badges dropped. Oh, everyone dropped. I haven't. Oh. But, yeah. Randy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. So everyone else dropped out. I'm trying to call people. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why this keeps happening, honestly. Me neither. I have a great connection. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Enfys is going to over here and attempt to well, let's see what's his bonus on that. Yeah, I guess he'll attempt to actually shoot the Goblin King this turn. I'll probably move up and heal Tom next turn. Uh, yes. He... That doesn't hit, does it? Uh, the 24 doesn't hit who? The king, no. Hmm. So that makes it the king's turn. Because of the pillar, he still thinks Tom's out of the fight. So he, with his balls of steel, step up to Rising Phoenix. <laughs> He's the only <laughs> goblin left who has any. Bigger they are, oh, the harder they fall. Hit him. He, what? He five foot steps, which doesn't get the attack. Oh, right. Five foot step. I forgot about that. That's a hit. <sighs> Dang it. And that's also a hit. Oof. We're going to have two characters out of the fight now. Uh, if he deals enough damage to her, she could just be dead. <laughs> that's still two characters out of the fight. I consider out of the fight being, you know, kind of like unconscious. If you're dead, you're just dead. 35 damage. She's down. So that took her down below. Yeah, she uh, she is down down. She is more of a priority than Tom at the moment. Who just went down? It's Rising Phoenix. Ah. So she's actually just straight up dead, or... Uh, she's down. Okay, not dead. And also she comes out of her rage, therefore she loses those hit points she gained from the con increase. Right. Which was 
eight. Oh. Lose, losing your rage cannot kill you outright. I know that one. Um, actually, it says that it, it is lost before, unlike temporary hit points, it can drop you, because you lose them before anything else. It can, it can drop you, but it can't flat out slay you. Okay, well, she's severely... And what, oh, what the fuck? What's happening? There? She'd be at, she'd be at minus nine. There we go. Uh, she's not at minus nine. She's... No, it's, it's minus constitution, not minus ten. Oh. Yeah. Old rules. <laughs> okay, so I gotta take out all those temporary stuff because... Would that also cancel the effect of her enlarged yes. person? Yes. think so. So basically he just went slash and she went do do do. Okay. Um Okay, so she loses that. I'm just making sure I've got everything that she gained from that. Oh crap. Uh No. Never mind. Okay, so she's... yeah, she's not dead, but she's fucking close. And what was that, Badger? Um, or would you rather just type <laughs> it to me? Um, eh, don't worry about it. Okay. Aaron Am. Um, do I have another charge on my staff? Can I use a charged attack with my staff? Uh, how no? did you get per day on that again? I know you've used two, I think. Yeah, it... I thought I only got two. Is that gonna... but that was like... A while ago, does it increase with my level at all, or no? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to bring up the, like the the PDF with the the stars in it, staves. Um. Okay. Very quickly, where is it? Ah, uh, deity. A four door arcana staves. Thankfully, it should open up where we left it. Yeah. Um, three charges. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna use... Oh, wait, no. Powerful those. Bolt. Sorry. Um, yeah, Powerful Bolt is two charges. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Um, then, do I get... Um, so, since it is the same day as when I used the Summer Mon Summon Monster 2, can I not use another level 2 s spell like Molten Orb? Do you only have one level 2 spell per day? Yeah. Then, yes. You okay. can't use one. Well, wait, you, you have a high intelligence score. How can you only have one level two spell per day? That's just level. That's not That's intelligence. Level. Yeah. So you, you haven't factored in your intelligence, the, the bonus spells you get from your intelligence modifier. You don't get bonus spells from your intelligence you modifier. You do. You get bonus spells per day from your intelligence modifier. Oh. Um, Being yeah. a wizard. Absolutely. Well, you my should. intelligence modifier is five. You should totally have at least one or two more. You've got one or two more level two, two level two. spells. And you've probably got like two or three more level one spells with a freaking 20. Yeah. Um, Alright, let's see. So. I'm going to then use a Molten Orb. And that does 2d6 damage. It also splashes, but nobody's around him, so that's all good. <clears throat> and let's see. I think he gets a save of some kind. Oh, yeah. He No, he doesn't get a... Well, saving throw says none. Okay, okay then, no. I'll save uh, nice. Let's see. If I have the right table, you should be getting two extra first uh, level spells and one extra second level spell a day. Okay, cool. So that's both my second level spells for the day then. Okay. So Molten Orb. Just checking. I thought I acted like the rock. None. <sighs> Every creature within five feet of the board here. Yeah. Oh, you hurl it as a splash weapon. Yeah. So you got to do a uh, a ranged attack against his okay. touch AC. So do I just roll a d20 then? 
D twenty plus your dexterity. Okay. D twenty well, plus not... minus forty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that doesn't hit. <laughs> that doesn't hit his touch AC. It is a splash weapon though, so roll a D eight. And I guess we're starting from this corner for falling short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It lands there. Ah, oh, no. No. What's... <laughs> Everyone roll oh a reflex God. save. That's not good at all. Okay, uh, what do I roll I on don't that? Have to, right? uh, well, no, uh, I mean, uh, Tom and Sage Heart roll a reflex, reflex save. Phoenix automatically fails hers. Damn it. You just kill Phoenix. Um, <laughs> I might have, and I'm gonna just go die right now. So. Great. Uh, where do I, I find it? it? Um, there may be two characters dying now. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I need to die. That's what needs yeah, to you, you using you kill two of us. Weapon? Against somebody with a really high AC does have that risk. I but have no idea. Touched, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it probably would have, but uh, there's just the risk with using a splash weapon there. Uh, Your I reflex mean, save. I, that, I just did not realize that it had that effect. So that I think the reflex nice. save is whatever your regular DC is for that uh, okay. level of spell. Cal does not know yep. where her reflex save is on her sheet. Yeah, it's under. No, I don't know what to do other than roll a d20. So it's d20 That's plus your did. reflex save, which is under attack and defense, where pretty much all of the saves, your AC and your melee and ranged attack modifiers are. It says ref. Yeah. Okay. So what's your DC for? Saving against a second level spell. Randy? Where do I locate that? Uh, if you calculate it already, it should be on your spell list at the top. Okay. Where it says save DC next to the amount of spells per day you have and spells known and all that. Uh, I don't have that for some reason. Okay, so it's um, 10 plus spell level plus relevant modifier. So, 17. And then it's divided by 2, isn't it? What? No. No, it's the like DC half? is 17. Never mind. I'm wrong. Yeah. So, um, it's the damage that is halved by the successful person who rolled it. So, um, Sageheart made it. Tom didn't. The king uh. didn't. So, roll your d6. Alright. Three. Thankfully, Rising Phoenix has fire resistance. Oh, oh, oh. Praise God. Oh. Praise God. She has ten of it. So yeah, she's fine. <laughs> okay. I know I was purposely making you guys panic about that after that, but... Uh. Hey, Kel! Uh, I'm gonna officially say Thomas out of the fight for this one. Oh, hi. So, I, I've unfortunately got other things that I need to do right now with the 173rd, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll... I have to drop out and I'll... I'll definitely ask what happened later. Later. Alright, have fun. Okay. Bye. So yeah, Tom's basically gonna have to sit out because he's just too beaten down. Well, I guess we'll get to find out if we, uh... Are we gonna wipe here? <laughs> Oh, what man. just happened? A lot of bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the only, like, main melee fighter still up. What? Yeah. The other two are down. Um, Phoenix is almost dead. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna put... Let's see. Yeah. Tom I'm is... Dead. Also in captain. No, he he had he had six. He has three hit points left, but he's oh right right. So he's he's kind of taking really a moment hurt. against the pillar to try and recuperate because <laughs> he's being... although nope. 
nobody stabilizes Phoenix, she could just bleed out. <laughs> mm. Did you say the king was bloodied? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Tuffy's turn. Well, she's still gonna try to hit the king. Huh. Roll to confirm. Oh. Oh. Well, you still hit. Seven. Seven. And she's gonna call Bruiser back to her, and he's gonna go there. Woman with armor is coming at him now, so he's just like, yeah, just starts firing arrows at Genevieve. It's like, no, get back, no. Haven't you done enough? Mm -hmm. This was not a situation I expected to come into. <laughs> uh, this is ping. Uh, do you want to take back control of Jen? Uh. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to bring me up to speed. Uh, we rescued those prisoners last time. They showed us the entrance to the Queen's dwelling and are guarding the stairs to uh, behind us. There's a lot of very strong enemies being the direct king's best men kind of thing. And right. it was been a, quite a fight. Tom's been down, but then, actually no, he got to zero, <coughs> therefore was disabled. Sage uh, healed him. Phoenix went freaking down because the, the king landed two blows against her. Um, that, that archer... Uh, Bruiser went in and attacked and bit his nuts off and then you had to heal Bruiser because he took a lot of damage and now you're just chasing that guy while Bruiser retreats just so that Bruiser doesn't get killed and that, that goblin is currently bleeding from between his legs because he currently has no nuts although wow. you might need to back up to help out with the king Tom, um, okay, I, he said he was out, I wonder if he would just switch to range, which would maybe, I don't know. I've been hit at all during this. Nope. Nope, you've been doing okay. fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna sheath his katana and draw his crossbow and that's pretty much all he can do. Just lean against the pillar, try and stay freaking up. Jen? So you got the goblin in front of you who has been doing a lot of damage with that bow. But then you've also got the king over here who's been doing a hell of a lot of damage with his greatsword. Yeah. Like I said, this I I really did not expect to suddenly come back to this. No. Um, Glad to have you back though, obviously. Yeah, I, I just... I have no idea what I want to do now. Uh, finish that gobbling off? Because basically, currently you're preventing the rest of the team from getting fired upon by arrows. But also this guy is a pain in the ass. That's putting it lightly.
I mean, um, you could lay it. How, how many little hands do you have left? I don't know. Oh, you have, uh, two. Maybe you have, um. Oh, that's 25 feet, though. Yeah. Yeah, you have three left now. Okay. Oh, I think my friend's here, guys. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, um, yeah, it's kind of uh, catch-22. If you go and try and heal somebody or just become a, like, try and distract the king, then you're going to start getting fired at by that guy. But if you finish him, then, you know, the king's still going to be swinging his fucking greatsword around. But it might be the, the better thing to get the range support down. Because if you finish that guy off, there's only one guy instead of two. Yeah. Oh, I do, don't I? All right, I'm gonna step forward, mm -hmm. and I do have smite evil. Now I just need to pull up the page on it. God, so th this is what happens when your ISP divas out on you. Well, at least you've probably got a much better connection now. Uh, put it to you this way: it took. It did not take very long to update a lot of things. No. It, there was just so many things to update, though. Yeah, and you actually have a fucking cable now. I do. It's amazing. And did you did you basically go, hey, Dad, you see how they're just putting it into the other box? <laughs> or did they not? <laughs> actually, it was funny. They had one guy on the roof. There was one guy here in the, uh, the house, and my dad was in the crawl space, and all three of them were working together, feeding the wire through. So he basically went, I don't want another hole, so you can just put it through here. Only if you're going Pretty in the much. coal space. <laughs> I wonder if you have, like, over one megabyte per second. bonus if any... T I do, actually. I have enough that I could probably stream now. Nice. Which I'm going to try later. <laughs> just putting that out there. Next time you play any form of online game, you can just be like, oh! <laughs> Probably. Alright, so this target is evil. The paladin adds your charisma bonus, funny to attack rolls, and adds your paladin level to all damage rolls. So, guaranteed finishing this guy off, pretty much. Yes. And that would be. What level? We're level 4, that's right. Give you 13 to attack? Yes. Plus 13? Hmm? What? To, to your um, attack modifier. Is it. Do you have plus 4 or plus 5? I don't remember. Uh, plus, the, uh, my charisma mod is 5. Right. And doesn't it add your charisma to attack? It does. So, yeah. Hey, buddy! Oh, okay. That misses. <laughs> sure! Uh, Why not? <laughs> um. Are you able to, f like, force feed someone in a fusion? Say, if they're unconscious? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say that's allowed, because it's basically just pouring a medicine down someone's throat. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hang on just a moment. Mm -hmm. Double checking my numbers. D8 plus. I think. Eight. 
Eight. Nice. She is stable, but still not conscious. Is dead. All right. Um, oh God, can't do much. Um, hell, 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 hell. You know what? Just to try and stall. Um, I'm going to let me just check. Cast. Do you not have any uh, cure light wounds left or anything? No, I have cure light wounds, but I'm thinking that it might be good to try and stall because this guy is just going to chew through us if we don't. Because none of us have high enough AC. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast. Obscuring Mist. Ah, okay. Alright, uh, I don't know how you want to represent that. Um... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this slightly less dark cloud. And what's the shape? Like 15 feet? It's 20 feet. 20 feet from you or from the square? 20 feet from me. Okay, so, and is that radius or? So that would be uh, yes, huge. Okay, so uh, let me just make it absolutely sure. So that's that far that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. 20 foot radius. 20, 20 foot radius. <laughs> Poof. The goblin tank in them should just have been caught in it. Alright, and. Uh, let's see. Just putting that to the back, because otherwise it's going to just cover up all the tokens. All right, and I'm going to five foot step and shoot at the Goblin King. And I can see through it that far. Yay! You got Cloud Gazer? Mm hmm Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't exactly have best tech. Oh wait, yeah. your, your cloud thing was not a standard? Uh, oh no, you're right, it is a standard, sorry. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, I meant to do that and then uh, actually move, but I got confused at some point. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, before he, the cloud came up, he saw that someone was trying to heal the fucking scary woman. So he's gonna five foot step here and basically try and slash it where he remembers seeing her. Well, he can see her. It's uh, within five feet, it's concealment, not total concealment. Oh, so 20% mischance? Yeah, 20% mischance. Okay. 18 against Sage Heart. 14 against Sage Heart. Okay. I it. What is Sage Heart's AC? Again, under the attacking defenses. Uh, it says 15, but I don't know. I have no idea with the plus one chain shirt or anything like that, so. Well, it should have automatically updated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put it down in notes because I had no idea where to put it. Oh, it goes under the armor. 
in armor and weapons. Where it says armor, it's plus one chain shirt. Just if you can't uh, find something. I don't some, see any spot under armor to write. It where says, do I write it? It says armor, and then next to it there's a box that says armor name and description. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, so plus one chain shirt. And then an AC bonus 5, max dex 4. Oh yeah, that didn't work. So you got plus one chain shirt, AC bonus five. Yeah, that one. Max dex four. Yeah. Penalty minus one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Spell fail twenty. Type L, weight twenty five. And then click off it and then scroll up to see what your AC is now. Yeah, I copied that whole thing into armor and it says um, AC 15. Okay, so you put it armor name and description under armor, it says the plus one change shirt. And then in this, the box that says AC bonus, AC bonus next to the big box, you put five in there. That's what I typed where um, it says armor. No, no. It says armor name and description. You put plus one chain shirt, and then the box next to it says AC bonus. That's where you put the five. Okay. And then max dex. That's where you put the four. Okay. Penalty minus one. The spell file 20. The type L. The weight 25. Under the name, you only put plus one chain shirt. Okay. See, this is why I need help with character sheets. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's a lot of things I've done wrong on the sheet, but I have no clue what. Okay, well send it to me after the game, I'll have a look at it. Okay, it says armor class 18... Armor class 18. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So he still hits you with that first 18 and one. gobbledygook. Yeah. So uh, roll his mischance. Mischance roll of d100. Yeah, so 1 through 20 he misses. Oh, he oh just my hit. god. <laughs> wow. Save takes. Oh my god, 24 damage. <sighs> Uh, well, I've got eight left. Eventually we're going to have a, a party of, like, dead people on the ground with the paladin hopefully trying to kill them. Aranam, thankfully you don't have to worry about mischance with a staff of force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That always um, pissed me off. And that's what I'm going to do. Attack with the staff of force. Two! Better than nothing. <laughs> Tuffy! Uh, currently that guy has total concealment from where you are. Um... Uh, oh, you mean, um, the king? The goblin king has total concealment where you are, yeah. So you could just try and shoot the other goblin. Or she might hear me swearing. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> 
Oh, you're still technically within the cloud, so you'd have to move out um, of it to fire at the other goblin without getting a missed chance. I cannot hear you. You're really quiet. Bit better. Hello. There you go. Okay. Um. All right. I'm. I missed something because I'm. I'm like lost with cloud and concealment. Sorry, I was distracted. Okay, so you can either like try and get behind the goblin king and try and backstab him with a melee, or you can move to like there and shoot the other goblin. Hmm. I guess I'll move and shoot the other goblin. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try and move within 30 feet to get your point blank shot? Oh yeah, so he's not within like 30 feet. There. Okay, yeah. There you go. I'll move close enough for point blank shot. Thank you. That's okay. And hello, Tuffy's friend. I mean, Kiki's friend. <laughs> Called you by the <laughs> character name. Yo, say hi. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey. Sorry. Been a long day, long drive. Alright, so... That's a hit. Yay! You've been rather freaking consistent with hitting. <laughs> she got him. Yeah. She got him. For All a right. solid Another eight. eight. It seems to be my standard. Eight is plenty. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be plenty to keep us all from dying at the hands of this fucker, but... He's kind of just crawling back at this point. It's just... No! Fire at the damn shiny woman coming at me! Ah. Nope! Ping! <laughs> Tom sees an opportunity. Drops the damn fucking crossbow, draws his katana, and goes to backstab the king for revenge. Ninjas in a cloud, revengeance. Um, I don't think you can get precision damage when they have concealment. Oh, can you? Well, um, I thought, is it only any concealment? That one I'm not sure of. Well, can he still get flanking? Uh, flanking, yes. I'd have to look up um, the exact rules on precision damage because I don't have a character that deals precision damage. Yeah. Um, but I know I've. He's been rolling his attack rolls wrong. I think. Uh. Yeah, because it's. His melee attack modifier is 5, and he gets a plus 1 to attack rolls because of it being a masterwork. So he gets d20 plus 6 base, and d20 plus 8, and he rolls a crit threat. Uh, he doesn't confirm the crit threat, and he still has to roll for mischance. He just about <laughs> makes it. He does, definitely. Uh, D8 plus... 3 plus 1, yeah, 4. He's got that one already. Plus D6 shock, and... Did you manage to confirm if he doesn't get that? I haven't been able to find it, so... Okay. Um, I... That's a GM call until I can actually figure it out. Yeah, okay, one second. Um... Striking, yeah, Ninja cannot sneak that while striking because it has concealment. Does that cover all concealment?
Oh yeah, concealment then, total concealment, so yeah, he has concealment. So he's just going to do his flat damage roll. 13 damage. He is very bloodied. Can I get a huzzah? <laughs> Not until he's dead. Huzzah! Yeah, if we survive. Oh, we're working on it. Sure. Thankfully... Wait. Why is... Oh, fuck. I just noticed Rising Phoenix got knocked off the freaking turn order when that accidentally made her disappear. What was her fucking roll again? Wasn't it? It was a 15, wasn't it? I think it was 15, yeah. Because she came right off to Tom. I mean, she's still down, but you know, it's nice to... for when she gets up again, to know. So that was... Uh, Tom. So she's just laying there currently, stable. Genevieve! Alright, that little shit... Where did that little shit go? Oh, okay. Hey, you little shit, I'm not done with you. You hit. You slay. Good, alright. She just pulls her blade out and says, now I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sage hurt. You gonna throw another potion down Rising Phoenix's throat? <laughs> uh, wouldn't that oh, provoke that would an attack? Provoke, yeah. the, the so you just trying to kill him. Step out, or possibly even just. Don't know. Is the king still alive, or is the king dead? The king's right next to alive. alive. <laughs> right. Well, since he is in within weapons range, I'm wondering if um, the fact that I've got Vishkanya Venom, being a Vishkanya, and a Kukri, I wonder if that's going to actually do any real good. Uh, only if you hit him, and I don't know if you have a chance of doing that. I'd spit in his face if I thought it'd help. <laughs> so is that a ranged attack spitting? I have no idea. Oh, we're thinking no, you, you like, can't spit it. You coat a weapon with it. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Like, you couldn't just sit there and, like, bite a hole in your tongue and then spit at him? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I then... probably couldn't hit him anyway, so... I so... think it's an injury poison anyway, so it wouldn't do anything. Oh, God, you would end up poisoning yourself. <laughs> no, I've got poison resistance. Yeah, you... Okay, so... You want to poison your kunai and try and stab him with it? I don't have a kunai, I have a kukri. Kukri, yeah, sorry. And, uh, I probably am not good enough to actually get through his armor class, because I think he's got something... What's your strength? Uh, 12. I don't think so. 1. Plus your BAB? 2. The BAB is 2, so that's a 3. Plus... So, so it'll be D20 plus 5 total. Yeah, you'd have to nat 20. <laughs> so you might want to um, five foot step away and heal yourself, or a phoenix, or whoever you want, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna kick his legs out from under him if I thought it would do any good. Hey, any chance I can grab Phoenix and do Expeditious Retreat? <laughs> Unfortunately not. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably just gonna back away and heal me then, because if I try healing her, yeah, she can possibly hit him, but if he kills me, I can't heal anybody else. I 
Uh, in a five foot step, we're gonna withdraw. I'm not in the way. I'm gonna go around the other way when I'm ready to come out. I have no idea. Oh, she wants to heal herself in the same turn. She has to five foot step. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. 11 points to yourself. And thankfully, you can't miss putting a potion down your throat. <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious. It's like, ah, it's my eye! Oh, it still works. Oh, I think. Envis. Alright. Um, I guess. Oh, dang it. I'm, I'm very torn about what to do here. I'm very torn about trying to get Phoenix up. And just backing away and trying to get the Goblin King to focus on me and run him around a bit. The problem is I can't hit him. So he doesn't even see me as a threat right now. Uh... Well, he got hit in the back by Tom, so he sees him as a threat. Yeah, I know, but... Um, which means he's going to turn around and then kill Tom. <laughs> Hopefully the mischance just goes in our favor. Uh, that's pretty much all we can help. All right, well, for right now, I'm just going to try and heal up Phoenix then first. Um, sure, like, wounds. I'm going to roll high. I'm going to have to roll high a couple times to get her up, but nah, eight. And then... Oh, you seem to have... Tom seems to be using a different sheet to the one I am. Okay, so eight. Nice. She is up. She is prone, though. Nice. Obviously. Yeah, alright. So she stood back up. Uh, I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to stay there for right now, that way I can keep healing, that I'm about five steps back and forth. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to stay there for the turn and just hope that the missed chance is enough to save people, because it's really all I can do right now. And then plus. Okay, rolling to confirm that miss. He flails around in the cloud blindly and wastes his turn, opening himself up to an attack of opportunity from Tar. <laughs> oh, thank God, please, please. <laughs> and this one, if he lands it, it's gonna be fun. That's a miss, unfortunately. Because he knows it no one longer has flanking. So close, though. But it also uses up his whole turn, so he doesn't get his second attack. Aradham! Alright, um, I guess I'm just gonna attack with my staff. Mm -hmm. Nice, max damage. Ooh! He's like, ah! Ah! I knew you were there! That's my cue! And then just, Burr! as he gets hit by this, this freaking bolt of forest. Roll your d2. Yeah. Okay, so yep. 
Duffy. Um, can I hit the king? Uh, you can try, but you've got a 50% miss chance currently. Is there anything I can do to get a better hit chance? Go into melee. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it That's currently, it. unfortunately. Okay. And then it would only be a 20% miss chance. I mean, yeah. Um. So moving here would be the best option? Yeah, to get into yeah. melee. But, you know, it depends on how. Uh, high your melee modifier is for hitting. Because if you... Wait. Does one of the feats keep you from provoking attack of opportunity for range? I mean, my my my, my melee is not as, as high as my ranged, but it's not, like, horrible. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to give it a go, then go, go ahead. I mean, I just want this to be over with, because I've got to go. You could go here and get flanking with Tom. Oh, so I could just step over Rising Phoenix? Uh, well, no, you would go between Rising Phoenix and Enfist to avoid attack of up. There you go. So you get a plus two to your attack. Not the damage, okay. though, just the attack. Alright. Unfortunately, you can't do your sneak attack damage in this cloud. Nope. Yeah. Well, at least the deck Tom has there. flanking now. Yes. So he's going to go up to a plus eight. If you can draw a straight line between... Ah, he misses. Oh, God. Rising wait. Phoenix rises. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need to check something. Sorry, go ahead. Rising Phoenix rises. And... That's gonna provoke. But I'm just kind of just fucking hoping the miss chance right now. Um, that's actually something... I'm not sure you can attack Bob for concealment. Okay, um, let's have a look. Human does a lot of things. Dang, it's only against total concealment. Ah, uh, which she doesn't have right now. Okay. Hopefully he just gets another whiff. No, no, he doesn't. And you already rolled low twice on the D100, so it's not likely he'll roll low enough to miss. Oh. She nope. Probably just gonna go straight back down again. I say probably, I mean definitely. Yeah, it, hopefully it doesn't kill her. Oh. Minimum damage, she's down, but still alive. Oh. Yeah, straight back down she goes. That's what happens. You got lots of health, but once it's down, it's to get it back up again. Get a beef. 
Help. I probably see nothing but cloud right behind me, don't I? You hear combat though. You do see Cloud and Tom and Aranam and Tuffy. Well, Tuffy's in there. You you can see what it is they're attacking. Like you can see that they're attacking it at a direction. You just can't actually see the thing they're attacking. So I can't actually, you know, might evil then charge at it or something. I don't even think I can charge at it anyway, can I? Can you charge into the cloud? No, you have to have line of sight to the opponent to charge. Okay. Um, what you can and do you also is have light. move into the cloud, uh, or at least there, because you got 20 feet. You can go there and channel energy to heal. Oh wait, no. Right, you... and I believe that's yeah. What you do? I believe yeah. that's 2d6. Yeah. It's 2d6 and uses two of your. Yeah. Hands. How many have been used today? She has three uh, left now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Before or after it's the like... channel energy? Uh, before. Okay. So we're down to one after this. It's like, hang on, guys. Uh, oh. Well. Wow. And that's within. All right, so the feet. Sage Heart would get that too. And that also stabilizes Phoenix again. <laughs> well, that's something. Does the doggy get healing? Yes, yes, the doggy does. If it wasn't for that cloud, I totally would have charged. <laughs> yeah, and uh, did you put Tuffy's healing on? Eh? I'm just asking Kiki. No. Okay. Oh. I, I, I put it on. Uh, Tal, did you put uh, Sage Heart's amount she healed on? Yeah. She, she heals for six. Okay, so she was on 11. Oh, she does heal? For, she heals for six more? Yeah. <sighs> if Kiki, if you want to go, I can just keep having her melee attack the gang. All right, take care, Kiki. It looks like a black and white <clears throat> Okay, so that was Genevieve. Say chart. Okay, I'm gonna move over here <coughs> and use my last heal on Phoenix. Okay. Of course. She's still unconscious. Alright. I'm gonna use another heal on her. Because... Uh, if she can get up, she's one of the people who has the best chance of actually killing this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eight. She's up. <laughs> she is burning. Right. There. The gods do not like us healing. No. no, I mean that's pretty much average. It's not good or bad. Yeah, but he gets a shot first. Oh yeah, but that was going to happen regardless. He's going to swing miss, at miss, miss, miss. Tom. Oh. Chance. Oh. It's Tom's going down. Uh, if he has only a tiny bit of HP, this could just flat out kill him. Uh, let's see. What's his con? No, he's fine. Okay. Um, wait, I thought it was the wrong sheet. Uh, yeah, he's fine. Alright. Stop doing that! <laughs> <laughs> Making me nervous over here! <laughs> he He's down. I think that's his job. But yeah. I know, but still... 
That person goes down, so he's going to direct his second attack at uh, Tuffy. Ah, crap. Oh, that was the wrong one. I realized that was the, <laughs> the D10, not the D20. Oh, yes. Alright. Yay, critical failure. He <laughs> confirms that critical failure. And how to use it. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna see who gets the opportunity. D two. Okay. True to her name, <laughs> Rising Phoenix gets a rising attack of opportunity. <laughs> oh. Um. Or it's just actually no, she gets a rising opportunity. She basically is able to get up in his distraction without provoking. I think rising and attacking would be too much for just a crit fail. So she gets to jump up basically. Cause yeah, I think one action. That, that's fair. Not too. All right now. Okay, uh, I'm going to attack with my staff. Ugh. Welcome back. All right. Okay, so basically Rising Phoenix got to come up from prone due to his critical fail. All right. She took the opportunity Sounds to jump reasonable. up. Okay, um, Kel should, you need to add Kel back in. I'm trying. It says she's busy? Busy? Uh. Should still be able to add her. There she is. Yeah, it was just beeping on my end. That's all it was doing. <laughs> Alright, roll, roll your D2 Weird. for the charge. For the staff charge. Oh, right. Sorry. The game. <laughs> Alright, I need Tuffy Sheet. Okay, so yeah, ready next turn. Toffee's turn, she's gonna try and backstab a motherfucker. And it's flank- oh wait, no, he's down, so she's no longer flanking. Um, there we go. Gotta roll high. Nope. She's gonna five foot step here. Uh, uh, why? To set up a flanking for somebody else. Oh, well, for Rising Phoenix, I guess. Why, was that something you were planning? Uh, if, if she'd stay where she was, she could have uh, set up flanking for Jen as well, so it's just kind of All which right. one. Yeah. Because Jen can step over Tom since he's helpless right now. Okay. Okay, well, Rising Phoenix Although can stay she... adjacent to her healers, so she's going to go on the corner for Genevieve. Oh, that works too. He's like, this isn't working. I'm going to try a different angle. Over here. <laughs> this will work. <laughs> Tom now needs to roll to stabilize. DC is like, it's for the, no, it's D20 plus con, I think. Con mod versus the amount of damage he's taken. Or was it 10 plus damage taken? He is in the next I don't one. remember. I haven't dealt with this before. <laughs> yeah, shit got real. Uh... 
Stabilize check. Right. Oh, I know. He is. Isn't he stable because of the channel energy? No, he got that before he went down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why he wasn't dead. Pretty much. Thanks to the channel energy. I was going to say, like. <laughs> Okay, right. Dying, here we go. Uh, takes a penalty on the roll equal to the amount of negative hit points. Uh, yeah. He, he takes a point of damage. Oh, shit, I did minus 12, not just... No, I'm trying to put in the number minus 12. Okay, add another it's 10. not wanting to cooperate with you, is it? No, it's because I'm trying to put in a negative value, but doing so actually dis deducts from what you have. So I should have just put in minus one. Because hmm. when you take damage, you can just put in how much damage you took, like minus 12 or something, and they'll take it from your hit points. Hmm. And then plus for the healing. Is there a way for me to adjust my settings to see the damage on other people too? No, uh, it's a DM thing. Oh, okay. Raising Phoenix. She flies into her rage, so she can at least just try and make it count. <laughs> so she gets plus four to con and strength and takes the a hit to a dexterity. I had since closed that page. <laughs> okay. Uh, Didn't think you'd be needing it again. <laughs> and then she could just step on him. Okay. Um. Plus two morale. Okay, it's just it's just a minus two to will um to armor class, not um anything else. <laughs> and that also gives her. For now, which probably won't matter if she gets hit again. Yeah. Since they'll be lost as soon as she goes unconscious. Yeah, and if that happens, she might just outright die from the loss of them. Yep. So let's hope she hits. Yes, let's really hope she hits. With all of her might. She swings at the fucking goblin motherfucker. I mean king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hits him, but we need to roll for concealment. Unless, <laughs> unless, her, unless her flames disperse the cloud or something. Uh, I could actually, let me check. Um, she fucking it, hits him. <laughs> oh, she, okay. she rolled an 87 on that motherfucker. But I still want to check if they can be burned away. I know they can be moved by wind, but I forget mm -hmm. if... Okay, so she gets strength, strength and a half, so... Uh, nine. Plus the flame, d6. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, it, it can be affected by fire. It burns away the area where the fire is. So just her square kind of thing? Anyway. Uh, yeah, just her square, and I guess oh. if she hits him, his square too. But... Oh, God. Motherfucker goes down! <laughs> Praise Jesus. Oh my God. Jeez. Yay! And immediately, Jen is going to go over and start healing Tom. 
I only have the one lay on hands left, but you know what? It helps. Uh, 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 Raising Phoenix okay. comes out of her rage and just falls to one knee. Uh, hopefully, oh, actually, if you don't get enough to, to heal him out of it, I have one more left of uh, Cure Life. Oh, I am such a dumbass. What? Hmm? When I channeled energy earlier, was I supposed to do the uh, two D like uh, two sets of two D six since I used two lay on hands? No, it, it just no, I... just uses two charges of it to do the AOE version. All right, all right well this is two D six and eight. Oh, He's still eight. unconscious, but he is also stabilized by the healing effect. All right, I'm yeah, gonna move over. you're gonna have to help me here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, also, you can let's disperse see if we the cloud. <laughs> uh, I kind of like it. <laughs> and this. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of the it, cloud. It, it's, it's a nice cloud, but we need to be able to see what we're doing. I'm just wondering if anyone was outside the cloud, just seeing the, the, the spark of the flames within, just making it glow a little bit. <laughs> but it looked really pretty. Kind of like seeing right, the cannon flash in the clouds at sea. Um, poof. He wakes up and he's like, oh, did we finally win? I think what I am going to do as soon as I have the opportunity, <laughs> I'm going to use my kukri and remove the king's head just to make sure he's down and stays down. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my bandages and do standard kyurge and stuff. You notice as you try to do this that you're finding a bit of trouble doing so, and it's then as the cloud disperses that you notice that the Goblin King and the crown on his head have turned to stone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not suspicious or anything. Well, but his equipment is still the same. It's just the crown and his body itself. Okay. okay guys, don't don't Can touch I... it until we know what's going on, guys. Can I detect magic? I think I can detect magic on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something you... magical happened. <laughs> Pony gods. But yes, you do detect magic. Great. And you uh... also detect like a rather potent magical presence that's just quickly fading. Uh, okay. Can we shatter the body? Yeah, sure. It's just stone. Well, I'm checking with the mage and other rest of the party members first. Hmm. Hmm. Still though, I mean, that's just kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I mean, you got to try and go and get the gear somehow. <laughs> Aaron, are you going to, you know, try some Knowledge Arcana and Spellcraft checks to see if you can identify Ooh, what's I can do a Spellcraft check. I, if nobody <laughs> minds, I'll do one as well. Yeah, I could do one, but I think I'm going to do Kyurgen stuff on Rising Phoenix first. I got Should Spellcraft check. What was that, 24? Mine was uh, spellcraft as well. Yeah, spellcraft, spellcraft. Okay, um, you detect that the Goblin King has a lot of magic stuff on him. He has a plus one greatsword, an amulet of natural armor plus one, a cloak of resistance plus one, a plus one full plate, and nine throwing axes, which are magical. And his crown has a residual effect on it, which was just put known as the Crown of the Goblin King. Which was basically a permanent plus one AC to all troops who serve him, regardless of distance. Mm -hmm. I like that. But it's turned to stone, so the effect is fading.
Uh, yeah, um, Sage Heart also picks up on that. So... If anyone wants... Uh, the crown has a uh, rather unique design to it, even in its inert stone state. And you would require a knowledge of religion, as well as for the uh, the holy symbol that the goblin priest was holding up. I can do that. I can do that as well. Or not. <laughs> you're unfamiliar with the surface gods. Um, though you know it's, it's definitely not a good god, because that's what basically you know have knowledge of. Mostly, and the direct enemies of. Uh, like, either. I probably might have seen it in a book somewhere, but I don't remember that well. That's what I'm what about me? Kyogen here. Oh, just, yeah, okay. Yeah, she's, like, got. She's very bloody, but she's upright and awake. Um, yeah, basically bandage her and do all the necessary. Mm -hmm. Aid her natural healing, yeah. Okay, um. Randy! Mm -hmm. This ain't good. <laughs> the Demon Queen, Mother of Monsters, Demon Mother, these are many of the names that this god goes by. The one that's most commonly known by others is Lamash II. Mm. The chaotic evil god of madness, monsters, and nightmares. Her domains include chaos, evil, madness, strength, and trickery. She is said to have been the mother of many, many monstrous creatures. The mother and patron of many misshapen and malformed creatures that crawl, slither, or flap on above or below the surface. Well, I inform everybody of the deity that was just described. That the Goblin King was, you know, serving. Oh, great. Oh. Dragons and now demons. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, you can't just drag and drop it onto the map. That's a shame. I was. Let's try to make. Is there a token here for it? Let's try. No, nothing there. But her holy symbol... Can I just copy the image and paste it here? No, just paste those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Our evil twins! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and... <laughs> oh, you can just paste an image there. There you go, you can see that. That's the holy symbol in the Skype chat. Mm. Hey. Oh, fun. Yeah. Mm. But he is dead, and to show her displeasure at this, he, the corpse has been rendered a statue. Did I mention that she is also the one that created the Medusas, or the Gorgons? Oh. She has many monsters that claim that she is their first and creator. Alright, um... Well, it's never a dull moment on the surface, anyway. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do? Sleep. We want to get somebody decent in to, um... Be in charge of the goblins now. We don't want somebody else doing the same thing this one did. Yeah, like we know any goblins. Um. Loot the bodies, go back up to 